Governor Ige says that the state veterans' home on the Big Island failed to implement all of the infection control guidance that should have been in place. Jen Boniza follows up. The state has watched in disbelief as the death toll and the number of those infected continue to rise at the Yuki Okutsu State Veterans Home. Four weeks into the outbreak, more than three-fourths of the residents there have tested positive. Knowing that the situation could have been prevented is heartbreaking. I know friends there who have family members and it has been very hard to see what has happened uh, at that veteran's home. It's clear that they did not implement uh, all of the infection control guidance that should be in place. That was Governor David Ige's response to a review of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home by the Department of Veterans Affairs last week. A second team from the VA returned Thursday and Friday to implement recommendations and to help prevent further spread of the virus. The facility reports the 18th death at the center due to COVID-19. Avalon Health Group reported that the facility had 89 residents prior to the outbreak. To date, 69 residents have tested positive along with 30 staff members. Mary Benavidez's father, Walter Santos Sr., tested positive several weeks ago. Up until now, I had believed that they had followed every procedure and protocol. We're all just kind of heartbroken that it could have and should have been, you know, prevented. I'm totally upset. I'm really upset. Arnold Nobriga's mother, Cecilia, also got sick. Avalon should be held responsible not only for the, the sick, but for the deaths. A spokesperson from Avalon Health Group says they haven't received the full report yet. But during a review on September 10th, the OHCA surveyor noted one D-level deficiency, citing no harm and not widespread. Avalon Health says they are deeply saddened by what is happening. They appreciate the support and collaboration of the VA, and they are working tirelessly to care for their residents. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.